get on the video. Welcome back for another video. Today we're going to discuss the monitors I use down here in the studio. Uh, different applications for the two sets of speakers and I do have them mounted up. I keep these guys up off the floor to give us a crosstalk. Keep these guys down pointing towards the microphones to give us some really good resonance and overall volume in order to be able to hear. Specifically when we start running these amps up a little hotter. Uh, let's cross over the specs. I'll show you what I do with them and then we will uh, actually do a sound comparison and see how these two sound and match up together, okay? I want to thank you for watching and let's get on with the video. Now I did write the specs down for these. Uh, They're extremely similar but there's enough differences to where I want to make sure I get the information right for you guys. Um, <clears throat> what we're dealing with here is the 15M two-way floor monitor. It runs from 68 Hertz up to 17 kilohertz. We have the 15 inch Pro Sheffield woofer in here, two and a half inch voice coil. It does have the 14T compression driver. This is 500 watts uh, program power and 1000 watts peak. Okay. It does have the safeguard uh, tweeter protection in it. We have the pole mount where we, like I said, and both of these have that. Now this one is uh, 90 degrees up or 40 degree horizontal um, directivity. This guy weighs 39 pounds. The inputs, this one has two quarter inch inputs that are in parallel. All right. Carpet cover, I've got to say the carpet, the, the carpet is normally harder to keep clean than this hammered finish. All right. Now let's cover over this guy. So now this is the SP15. M. This is a two-way speaker as well. It does have the Nutric or the two quarter inch parallel connectors. 15 inch Black Widow here with a four inch voice coil. The RX22 compression driver with sound guard protection. This is a thousand watts of program and two thousand watts peak. So considerable difference, twice as much as the uh, 15M here. Um, does have the pole mount. It is running the same 90 degree or 40 degree horizontal. This one weighs 56 pounds and it has the hammered finish. And I gotta say, extremely easy to keep clean. The grill on this as well, powder coated, uh, nice speaker. Both of these sound good. Let me get this paper set down. Now, again, you can actually use these for a main, you can throw these up, get them up on top of your subs, and run these speakers on their own out the front. Or again, we're using using them for a monitoring situation. Now, the thing I really like about the SP15 here is this is the same basket that goes in my SP4s, so I always have a spare basket, be it in in the larger speaker or one of these guys. I have something to replace it with. Now the Sheffields. Um, you would have to order whatever you needed there. And if I ever have to replace the uh, baskets in these, I will put a Black Widow in as well as run this up to the RX22 compression driver. That way again, I'm running all my speakers uh, will be the same and if I need parts or have to swap something out, um, I'll have them readily available for me. So, let's get some sound hooked up to these things, see what they're going to sound like, do a comparison. Like I said, both of them are nice speakers. So the SP15, we do have the four pin Nutric speaker cable, or you have the two parallel quarter inch jacks. Okay, This is an 8 ohm cabinet, uh, as well as the 15M is 8 ohm as well. Let me zoom you over here, we'll take a look at the 15M there. Your only option here on this particular model is the two quarter inch inputs. Let's go listen to them, see how they sound. All right, guys, let's start with the 15M. I'll unplug this one. Oh. 
range there, right? Sitting back here, this horn is a Production, uh, running it through the keyboard, giving enough frequency that we can actually hear what these things are doing. Nice, nice shot. test here I was running the EQ as flat as I could keep it um, both of these running on the same channel from the PA system over so being able to unplug them they were both receiving the same signal okay uh, again this one a little, little bit sharper on the highs uh, and that's due to the driver um, the RX 22 here that that's pretty crisp okay a little bit warmer here um, <clears throat> now and again once I have these hanging up and I'll show you here in just a second. In a crosstalk situation, these guys being down on the floor, and at a thousand watts program, now these these things can move some air. Okay, keeping these up a little higher at a little lesser volume, uh, being able to cross over the stage works really well. Let's get a listen to that. I'll set them up for us. Like I said, I typically point these back towards the drummer, get a little bit of sound heading back his way as well. All right, this guy unplug and bring this cable back over. Well, I tell you what, by the time you've gotten the cables and everything ran for your sound system, it's a job. I'm trying to pack this stuff up at the end of the night too. I mean. This one's got a little bit heavier than the other guy. Now this monitor sets really well on the floor. Never any vibration or anything like that of it, out of it, and it's easier to keep clean as well. There you go. And like I said, crossing over between the microphones and the drums, everybody can hear. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty good sound. Get that turned up just a little bit. It looks about right. absolutely right to the center of the stage sounds awesome again the better you can hear back here hear yourself playing music the better your audience can share it with you because you're putting on a better performance 
I gotta say, that's it's a really good match. Well, there we have it, guys. I think a fair comparison. Uh, again, both of them sound good. Uh, the SP15 does match my other speakers that I currently have. So if I had to replace parts, everything's going to be able to interchange. So I got to say that's a plus. Um, the 15Ms, I've I've had these for a while, and they've never given me a moment's problem out of them. So like I said, I mean the only thing about those is the carpet finish on there, a little a little bit harder to keep clean, but all in all. Either way, if, if you're looking for monitors or uh, have a set of these, then you already know what I'm talking about. So, again, they these things will pump, and that's what you need in order to get your stage volume uh, matched to where you can hear, and then your audience through the front, they can hear. So, once everybody gets feeling good, volume comes up. You ever notice that? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it's been helpful for you in some way. Again, either way you go there, I'll leave it up to you. Leave some comments. Which one do you think is better? All right? See you on the next one. You guys, keep playing music out there. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it.